everybody. Today we're going to take a look at the Potenzik F183DH. It is a, a six axis gyro uh, drone that also boasts an HD camera as well as an FPV module built into the uh, receiver. We'll uh, open this up and show you just what you get and then we'll finish this off with a little bit of flight time. Let me go ahead and show you around the box a little bit and then we'll open this up and see uh, just what you get. Some of the things that it does feature, again like I said, is a six axis uh, control. It does do video as well as your uh, photo. The climate can go up to 200 meters in distance. The um, FPV part of this drone runs on a 5.8 gigahertz. I'm not sure if the other part is or not. It does have four different speeds from beginner all the way up through advanced as well as some LED lighting, some basic things that you see on a lot of the other drones. And they are sporting, on this particular model, a 7.4 volt uh, battery. So hopefully that will give us the suggested uh, 10 minutes flight time. But we'll definitely test that out as well. Looking at the front of the box, you do get their regular advertising, but they do show that it does in fact come with the FPV module for your receiver, as well as some of the things we already went over before. Again, it's just your, your basic uh, advertising. I'm going to go ahead and open this up real quick and let's see just what it is that we are uh, getting ready to play with. It is packaged quite, quite nicely as I destroy the box. It does have a good amount of literature. It is the F series, according to their pamphlet. And I was correct, it is a 2.4 gigahertz receiver with the 5.8 gigahertz FPV module. I will have to look through this a little bit uh, before we fly as you should always just to familiarize yourself with the controls but for now we're just going to charge ahead the drone itself as you can see is actually a really decent sized quad I mean, it's not not too large, so I think it will still be able to get a decent amount of flight time. But it is hefty enough that uh, you know it's not going to fly away in the wind and whatnot. One thing I did notice is they do have a different type of propeller design than I'm used to, and hopefully I can uh, spin in and or zoom in and show you that. They've gone with more of a uh, an angled design that will hopefully uh, pan out, give it a little bit better performance. The camera is a very nice, very flat design, a low profile camera on the bottom of the quad, already installed, and it is adjustable, so you can adjust the angle. Looks like this whole piece here does slide back to expose your battery compartment which is on the bottom of the quad as well and it does already come with a battery inside the quad so we do get a second battery which is really really nice and will extend our our flights quite a bit I love it when they include a second battery for that going a little reason. deeper into the uh, box the last thing to pull out of the top here is your transceiver or your remote. It does have shoulder buttons as well as your uh, throttle 
and your uh, turning joystick. We do have power here in the middle. And I won't go over all of these necessarily because I know that they did a really good job of documenting that in their description. But it looks like all of the buttons on this particular remote um, are functional. None of them are for, for looks. And then it does take four uh, additional batteries to run this remote. On the underside of this packaging, we did have what appears to be the uh, a battery charger. As well as the FPV module that uh, I will be installing on the remote as well. No, it does flip up quite nice. It does have some really nice uh, build quality to it. It's quite lightweight. And it does have its own um, and it only took me a few minutes um, to get this completely set up. So it was really, really easy. The parts fit really well. Go ahead and slide this aside. So you can see the drone itself with the prop guards. And the prop guards themselves, I do mention they give you plenty of clearance um, out away from the props. I wish they were a little bit taller so that they would protect against the top of the, the props. Uh, that being said, still not not horrible. Uh, definitely still very light. It did add a little bit of weight to it, but it is very light. Um, if you're trying to get the most out of your battery and you just want to zip this thing around and play with it, you can remove the prop guards, the landing gear, and you can also remove the, uh, the camera quite easily as well. It just slides right off like that, and then you unplug it. So you can trim down quite a bit of weight. Um, one thing I did notice with this camera unit that was really quite nice as well, aside from the fact that it is a very um, low profile camera, then I'll get back on here real quick. And to hook it, or to attach it and detach it, it does take a little bit of fiddling, but it's nothing horrible. It's just a matter of lining it up pushing it on. But what I did want to mention is it does include an SD card which is really really nice as well. You have everything you need in this box except for batteries to be up and flying. Um, it is a 4 gig SD card so you can swap that out for more but it is very easy to get to even with the landing gear on. To turn on the quad your uh, switch is on the underside of the quad here, so we'll go ahead and turn it on. And you can see we do have the flashing lights indicating it's ready for sync. We have white on the front, red on the back, and blue on the sides for orientation. We'll go ahead and start up the receiver. And just like a lot of these receivers, you push up on the stick. Back down on the stick, and now we should be um, synced up. In fact, the lights on the drone have gone solid, so I think we're pretty much ready to fly. Take this out, uh, give it a real quick rundown. I'll try to show you the quality on the FPV as well as the quality from the captured camera as well, and then we'll uh, finish up. I apologize for any sound we have, but I'm going to show you the rest of this video from the camera on the drone. So you can see here real quick, we do have a really nice display here that is showing the camera. We do have some LCD as well down here. The video is really quick and easy to start up as our pictures. I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of footage of a flight with this.